Yes siree, nothing like a nice casual stroll across the wasteland in the apocalypse. Out here breathing the fresh air, taking in the gorgeous sights. It's like a dream come true. A freaking bad dream, but nevertheless a dream come true. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Our entire map is nothing but a large wasteland with one small green biome somewhere on the map that we are going to go in search of, but I do not know where it is. Okay, so, um, yeah, it is time for us to head on out. We've spent um, all the time um, that I want to in this area looting these POIs. <clears throat> And we got a little bit geared up, we got some weapons, and so we are ready to head on out and start searching for the Paradise Green Biome. Alright, so I went through and um, basically figured out everything I'm going to take with me, and everything you see in here is what I think I'm going to take with me. Um, I'm debating though whether or not I should go with heavy armor, at least while we're journeying, as opposed to the light armor the light armor um gives us doesn't affect our mobility or our noise more importantly um but of course it doesn't give us as much armor as this iron stuff is going to do so um if we look at our current armor class we have we have an armor rating of 39 um so let's go ahead and put um this armor on okay and now we have an armor rating of 58 so we've almost not quite uh almost doubled our armor class at that point but we are now also slower um and we are more noisy so i guess the question is is that what we really want to do? Because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not too worried about the, the padded armor. We can easily remake that later on. So let's say, you know, we find another cluster of POIs and we decide we're going to stay there and loot for a while and we want to be quiet. We could we could remake these. Um, I'm, I mean, I've got 30 duct tape with me. And, uh, yeah, I think with all the bones and stuff that we had, that's what I was able to make. So... Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to do. I think that's probably what we're going to do. So let's, let's get all the mods off of these guys. Uh, modify that. And then we will put them on our heavy armor. Uh, so... Modify. Uh, we'll put the cap on there. I wish we had a, a light mod, but we don't, so. I mean, this insulated... I don't know. There's probably just no advantage whatsoever to actually having this at all. More than I think about it, you know? So... Yeah, let's put... Modify. Put the storage pocket on there, and on the legs, the other storage pocket. I think I'm just going to leave this here. There's, you know, there's no snow biome on this map, right? No snow biome at all. Um, I'm going to also read this treasure map. Um, and if it happens to... We're, we're going to be heading um, west towards this airdrop to try and find it. And whether we find it or not, we're going to continue on west from there. But um, if, uh, if this thing also is in that same direction we're going to get it if not then we'll get it some other time all right so it does not look like it went in that right direction it went to the southeast okay well we'll worry about that some other time then it's okay not a big deal okay so this is what we're taking with us guys this is what we're taking with us um i'm taking uh the uh the orange blunderbuss and we made 17 blunderbuss ammo i decided to do that might be a little bit weird that I'm taking the potato, but potatoes are very rare, and uh, I am planning on taking Master Chef 2 so that we can start making 
um, what the hell is it called? Hobo stew. So that's why I actually have the potato with me. Um, pretty much everything else in here, we just, you know, I, we just don't need right now. I mean, some of it's very useful, of course, but we have limited space and I need to leave some slots open because, you know, we're going to continue to be looting stuff along the way. Um, so yeah, I think the, I think this is probably what, what we're going to do. Okay. So, uh, I made up, uh, five boiled meats and that's it. That is all we have for food. And hopefully we don't get food poisoning. I mean, we, we don't have a choice. We have to eat. We don't have vitamins. So I'm going to, what's the, that's 10 stamina. Yeah, I'm going to eat a third one, and then we'll save these other two for later. We'll just see where, you know, where we are from there. I mean, worst comes, worst case scenario, come, you know, we can um, kill rattlesnakes and uh, you make more boiled meat on the road. I am taking, of course, a cooking pot with me as well. Okay. Um, we've got 40 glass jars. Do I need... I mean, we're... We might wrench cars along the way. I don't know. It's the, the problem with wrenching cars while we're traveling is it's just going to really bog us down with a bunch of stuff. But it's also going to give us more gasoline to make potentially make more Molotovs. But, hmm, I don't know. I'm tempted to, to leave the gasoline and the oil behind, too, because it'll be so easy to get it again later. I, th I think that's probably what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and leave that behind. And maybe you could even make an argument that we could get the leather there's plenty of dogs to kill um so yeah i think that's what we'll do okay well right or wrong or indifferent or whatever that's the way it goes uh, there's a there's some pretty decent stuff here so you know at some point at some point we might actually come back for some of this stuff uh let's look at this for a minute uh can we put that on yes we can okay we'll put that on our our leather boots we look pretty <laughs> we look pretty silly. All right guys, this is it. Let's go. Let's head them up and move them out. Um how much we've got seven waters and five coffees. Yeah, I think that's enough beverage for now. I was just wondering if I should maybe just fill these up now while we're by the water. You know, maybe we should cuz I don't I mean, I don't know how soon we're going to come across water again. I think we should do that. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. And I, I'm just going to keep all of that murky water because it'll stay stacked that way. If we try and cook it up right now, um, you know, then we'll, we can only have it in stacks of 10, so. There we go. So... At some point, you know, when we stop or whatever, we can make a campfire with our cooking pot and cook up more water as needed and or make more glue. But we have 30 duct tape. The only other thing that we would need glue for is to make a blunderbuss, but we already have two shotguns and an orange blunderbuss, so we don't need to make another one at any time soon, if ever. Okay, let's do this. So we are heading west. We're going to head towards the, um, I need, I need feathers for more bolts too. Let's uh, favorite that. We are going to head towards this drop uh, off to the west and then continue on on our search for the green biome. And uh, we'll go as far west as we feel like, you know, we, we, can, we can or should. And if we don't find it, then we'll have to change direction and go somewhere else. We'll probably just keep traveling as long as our supplies hold out. Um, I'm expecting to get food from rattlesnakes and eggs along the way. So, you know, we've got the cooking pot and all that sort of thing, so we can stop as needed and make food. We've got plenty of water to drink. Um, so, you know, the one thing we don't have an infinite supply of, of course, is ammunition itself. But, you know, maybe what we'll try and do is... You know, just quickly get to the to the end loot in any POIs we come across as we go along. Okay, so 
I still want to more or less avoid, um, you know, enemies whenever possible. We don't need any of that stuff. So we won't go looking for fights, but we're also not, you know, going to go way out of our way either. If, if a zombie comes after us, we're going to blast them. We ha actually have more 762s than we do um, shot normal shotgun shells. We should check cars. I'm not going to wrench the cars, but I will definitely loot them as we go. Um, nah, we don't need oil right now. We just, it's just not going to do anything for us right now. Not while we're traveling. Okay, so we need to be going this direction. All right, there's an egg. We're just going to continue making crossbow bolts. Oh, I should have um, this on my toolbar. Because we'll still, if we get attacked, we'll still probably put the blocks down. But we'll just do wood blocks this time because we will be able, should be able to kill them quicker. More quickly. So let's make sure we're prepared for that. Baldy over that way. We're we're working towards the X that's up on my compass there, just a little to the right of the of the west marker. Yowzers! Yes, sirree. Nothing like a nice casual stroll across the wasteland in the apocalypse. Out here breathing the fresh air, taking in the gorgeous sights. It's like a dream come true. A freaking bad dream, but nevertheless a dream come true. Whoa! That was close. Alright. Did we aggro somebody already? He's just moving this direction. We are a little more noisy now with this armor on, so... Yeah, let's go hit this car. We were actually down on that road very early on. Because we <clears throat> we started... We, we spawned in a little bit to the west of here when we first started the playthrough. All right, let's check this car. Um, I'm gonna leave this here because we have uh, we have a full stack of repair kits and we already have an orange wrench. We're gonna be very selective about what we actually loot. Have to remember to keep our eyes on the ground and on the horizon. Moving through here. Avoid Fido as much as we can. Okay, whereabouts are we at? Wonder if we should get back down on the road and follow the road as far as, you know. If it goes here, great. If it starts going up north, then we cut across. I think I'm going to... Let's do that. Let's do that. It's a little... We can move a little bit more, you know, a little more quickly on the road because we don't have to worry about landmines. Damn buzzards are out in force, aren't they? Double checking all my weapons and making sure they're loaded. Let's hit this uh, 
trash over here. Nope. I'll start collecting uh, the spoiled meat when we're ready to start making the hobo stew. But there's no point in, in holding on to it right now. Particularly since it's so easy to come by around here. Okay, so yeah, we're just working our way down towards the road. I'm probably not going to crouch unless we see enemies. Okay, on the road. Wasteland has a bunch of these telephone poles and they have the transformers on the top that we can get steel and iron ingots from. So, you know, when the time comes for us to need steel for whatever we might need it for, it should be, oh, that was a nice find. It should be fairly easy to come by. Let's get rid of those. In fact, you know what? Let's take this right now. Uh, we'll turn that into junk turn ammo. Okay. I'm tempt tempted to sprint, but I think I'm just going to walk because... Sprinting's going to suck our stamina cap down. Oh, good. There's the airdrop right there. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll, we should get some food out of there, among other things. Um, and we've got a zombie that decided to show up. Let's just make him bugger off. Dude, go away. This is our airdrop. All right, let's go check this thing out. Let's see how, how close I, I came. Oh, my word. I was, like, way overestimating that. Okay. Well, look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Okay, so we need about 15-ish stamina. So let's take that one right now. Crap a doodle that. Um, is this AK? It's got, yeah, it's got three more points of uh, of damage than the ones we're curr we currently have. So let's do this. Let's take this one, um, and we're gonna let's modify it to unload it first of all, and then we'll load this one up. And that one also holds 32 rounds, too. This one only holds 26. So, yeah, that, that's actually a very nice improvement right there. More damage and more rounds. Okay, so that being the case, um, we don't need three AKs. We just don't. Um, And, you know, this isn't worth anything. It's worth more if we scrap it. So let's do that for now. But, I mean, you know, we might end up just stashing those somewhere. Anyway. Okay, that was a great find. So that we got a better gun, we got a little more ammunition, and we got some food out of the deal. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's turn this into junk turret. And we can now remove... Man, I can't believe I was so far off the mark with that. Uh, we can remove this from the map now. And let's, let's actually stay on this road as long as this road continues move well you know i guess it doesn't really matter if, if it goes north we could just keep following the road regardless of where it goes all right let's see what's in this car um don't really need either one of those things
Okay, very glad we found that drop. I'm going to have to maybe not uh, overestimate those as much next time we try and mark one. That was way off the mark. Makes me wonder if that other one we were looking for was closer to two. I don't know. Um, in, in the old days, you know, before we had airdrop markers, I would usually underestimate how far away they were. Okay, let's not run. Let's just walk. Conserve our stamina. We are in really good shape right now. Knock on wood. Got some more POIs coming up here. Okay, let's make more of these. No, 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 no. Not arrows, bolts. Oh, have I been making arrows? Okay, no, unfavorite those. We want to make bolts, not arrows. Okay. Somebody just got blown up. Okay. None of that stuff's worth anything to us right now. So we will leave it. We'll leave it behind. What kind of witchery do we got going on here? Weird. Weird, man. Okay, so it looks like the road's... Hey, well, it's going to go... to another little set of POIs here. And what we'll probably end up doing then is we'll probably just go after, you know, the good stuff. We're not going to, like, loot the whole damn thing. Let's get this guy. Get off the road, dude. Get off the road. This is our road. Nothing there. There is a Fido over there, so let's kind of stay on this side of the road. I want to go hit that car down there. Nope. Good stuff. Just not stuff we need right now. It's a little iron node. That's the one thing that the wasteland has in abundance is iron. It's all over the place. Okay, so we've got uh, another junkyard. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to loot the safe. And probably that's all we're going to do. And we can actually get to that safe by just punching a hole in the wall right over here. deal with these guys as necessary. Just want to kind of keep an eye open behind me too here. Okay, we don't have any Oh, we do have 3 lock picks. Okay, well let's let's deal with Let's deal with this guy first. Nothing coming up behind us. Okay. 
<laughs> he keeps jumping every time I try and hit his head. Alright, he's down. Okay, let's see if we can open this safe with our lockpick. I'm a little bit nervous having my back turned to what's behind me. We get snuck up on. One last shot here. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, well, we're breaking open the safe. Let's, um... Let's just make sure those zombies don't get too damn close. All right. I'm going to pop a coffee here. We're waking up everybody and their freaking dog. Everybody and their freaking zombie dog. Oh shit. Save bullets. Oh. There we go. Um, here we go. I, I knew it. Any more vultures? Yep, there's one up there. Here he comes. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Okay. Um, let's... I'm glad I... I'm glad we decided to go with the armor. Let's pop one of those. Did I just see another vulture fly by? Ah, oh, well, shit, we missed him. I don't even know where he came from. Okay. She hit us. That's hacks. I'm not doing too well with the sledgehammer <laughs> here. I hope we uh, can replenish our 762 from that safe once we finally get it open. And let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, wow! A yellow auger, you guys. Oh my goodness. That's a sweet find. That is a really sweet find. Okay. Nice. Really nice. Let's um let's take or let's make a bandage. Wow. Okay, and then we'll use that to make sure our cap is all the way up, and then we're gonna we have to pop another pill here. We're gonna be thirsty as I'll get out too. Oh we can, still can't use it. <sighs> okay, okay, we got this. We got this. It's like we're getting the attention of everybody for 10,000 miles around with the, all the noise this makes. We got Easy's attention. Is there any gasoline in this thing? Nope. But we could we could go wrench a car and get it filled up. Oh, you know what else I should be doing? Let's put put down a little bit of a guard here. Anybody comes from that way. Let's take care of Easy here. Me and the junk turret together. Okay. Let's get back at it. Here. We might as well take care of this guy. It's getting on my nerves. Take another one of these now. 
Nope, still not quite yet. Five more seconds. Oh! That scared me. <laughs> Son of a... The dude jumped down right in front of me. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. We got this. That does... Not quite a hundred damage. What's this do per hit? Yeah, this this is faster. I, I think it's faster. It's faster, faster attack speed. I don't know if it's ultimately faster. Okay. Our health should be popping back up here. Surprised our hydration's not going like way down with taking two pain pills. We're gonna go ahead and wrench some cars and get some gas for the auger. We might as well fill the tank up on it. Because then we can just use the auger to open these. It's so much faster. All right, what do we got? Um, Good. More shotgun shells. This we don't care about, but we will take with the rest of that. More Molotovs. Okay. We didn't get any more 7.62s, but that's okay. We got more shotgun shells, and I'd rather almost have more of those. Okay, let's put the wrench on our toolbar. Put these back down here. Um, I think I'm going to put the blunderbuss up there. No, actually, here. We'll keep the blunderbuss down there for the moment. This guy needs to be reloaded. We're, see, we're already getting like so encumbered here. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? No, I'm trying to load the damn thing. You know what, too? We've got four forged iron. Is there anything that, like... Yeah, this needs to be repaired, so let's repair that. We could turn those into repair kits with the duct tape that we have. Um, I'm not going to keep more empty jars. Well, we could make more Molotovs. No, let's not. we got to be... Yeah, I see you, dog. We've got to be... Um, Judicious with our space here. Let's get rid of that. You know what? I'm throwing these machine gun parts out. I just don't need them right now. Um, this. We don't need that either. Uh, we don't need that. I almost wonder though if I shouldn't. Here, let's pick this stuff back up. Here's what we're going to do we're going to put it in here. Because remember, none of this stuff uh, re, re, uh, respawns anyway with our settings. And on the off chance that we ever come back this way, I mean, I, I hate throwing brass away. I really do, but we just can't do anything with it right now is the thing. Probably even the same for the 9 mil ammo. Let's not even hang on to that right now until we get a pistol or an SMG. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go... Uh, loot a couple cars here, or wrench a couple cars, just to get enough gasoline to fill the tank on the auger. And then we can use that. Uh, to, you know, open the next safe and whatever we need to do. Oh, look at that shot. Come on, Fido. Yeah. 
Oh, we, we did another level. Got another level, too, didn't we? All right, what do we want to put this level in? Um... Hidden Strike would certainly be nice. We've got an effective level 3 in Agility, though. We already took... We could do the next level of From the Shadows 2. So that's an option. Oh, man. Um, where is... Sexy T? This will help us conserve stamina when we're using our tools and our sledgehammer and stuff. That would be a good one to get. Um, just trying to... See. We could go ahead and, and take this now, but I don't know. I don't know. I am going to do that. I just don't know if now is the time to do that, you know? Just not sure. This this would certainly come in handy, you know, to take that. Um, Lucky Looter requires perception level 2. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's let's take let's do that. Let's go let's go for level two and lucky looter for the next time. Okay. Now normally I would harvest Fido, but I'm not gonna right now because we're not carrying any of the stuff that Fido's gonna give us. Oh shit, there's another Fido. Alright. Let's kill him, too. Alright, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He was just right over there. Oh, there he is. Love the crossbow. The straight shooter, man. Hold still. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave the... Uh, junk turret down there. Alright, there's some gasoline right there. Whew, I'm not going to throw this mushroom seed away. Yeah. <clears throat> How much is in the, the tank of this guy? I don't know. Okay, let's wrench the car. get some more gas. We have this car and the other car over there to do. <coughs> Not only did we find an auger, but we found a yellow auger, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we've got a full tank. Um, so let's go ahead and put the rest of this stuff in here. This, 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 and this, and this, and this. And, well, here, we'll turn that into junk dirt now. The spring can go in there as well. And I think that's it. I think we want to keep everything else. All right, guys. Um, You know what? We'll put the potato in there, too. <laughs> we just don't need to be carrying it around right now. Okay, we, we are out of time, so let's pause the game. Um, We're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. I'm not going to bother, you know, looting these entire POIs. We're just going to try and go for, you know, the end loot in them. And, um, you know, take that next point in Lucky Looter uh, when we hit the next level. And, you know, just kind of keep focusing on the, the, well, you know, Perception Tree, Strength Tree, and Agility Tree. Those are the three that we really 
you know, are want to concentrate on for the build that I have in mind, which is going to be, you know, planning on it, you know, to be a stealthy, you know, type of kill from the shadows uh, type of build. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.